from the car. Hey, Frankie, didn't expect to see you here. Yes, fancy meeting you here too. All right, we're actually at uh, an, a gun <laughs> show in Indianapolis. This is a gun and knife show. Yes, one of the originals. This is supposed to be the original show for Indianapolis mm -hmm. uh, for guns and knives. And it's actually been replaced. It's a bit smaller than we're used to. It's it's smaller, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been replaced um, size-wise by a bigger show yeah. here in the city. But this is nice. It's, it's okay. something to do on a Saturday. Yeah, and there's actually two dealers, knife dealers mm -hmm. in there that we already know and buy and trade from Yeah. over the years. Regularly. Quite a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but today our goal was really to see if we can trade some OTFs, some out the front mm -hmm. knives, a couple of Microtex and a Guardian Tactical. Yeah. Those we kind of like doing in person. Yeah, it seems like it's better that way. Yeah, the OTFs, because there's different laws and things like that in different states. Mm -hmm. And here in, in Indiana, they're actually, uh, there's no knife laws whatsoever. Really. So yeah, those are just good to do in person. Mm -hmm. We've been inside briefly. And what? We had we got our marking. We got our yeah. That's actually Tat. tattoo. Yeah, mm -hmm. permanent. <laughs> um, now we've been inside briefly, and there's a few that we have our eyes on. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I know one that you definitely want. Yeah, I think I'm gonna trade a couple knives for it. We're gonna see if we can do a trade. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. let's show what we have. Two Microtex. This is. This is one of the original Exo sets. So Frankie's got an Exo set, yep. Yeah. This is a UTX 85 that Frankie should love because it's your size knife. Yeah, but it's, I don't know. I want more color and it's a double edge, so. Well, it does have color. I think what kills it for you is the blade. Yeah, it's double edge. Eh. Dagger. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's a super nice knife. It's just not one she ever carries. It's from, it's from 2018. It's kind of an older knife. Yeah. Four years old. So what do those go for? 250, 260, something like that? Yeah, something like that. All right. And that's the full, that's the Blade HQ price. Uh -huh. um, you showed the Exo set. What are those selling for? Like two something also. 250-ish, yeah. say, somewhere in there. Yeah. Microtech price. Typical Microtech. And then yeah. there's a, this Guardian Tactical. That's a UTX 85 uh -huh. size, maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's a cute little knife. I actually really like this knife. The more I handle it, I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. I don't want to get rid of it. Quick story on that knife. I found it. I was looking through boxes, our knife boxes, because we've got a few. A and few, uh, yes. yeah, I, I found this box and I was thinking, oh, where's that knife? It oh. was in it. I could. <laughs> It, it was uh, it was making a little noise, uh -huh. and yeah, the knife was in it. It somehow stayed in the box, so we kind of completely forgot about it. Yeah, <laughs> might as well have traded in then. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's Yeah, that's true. what I'm saying. So we've yeah. got these three. Uh -huh. What do we have in there that we are looking at? There's a McNeese. Yeah, there's a McNeese. So I'm okay with that. It's a Mach two. Yeah, and it's uh, that's a little that's a small uh -huh. his smaller knife. Yeah. that they do out of their shop in Alabama. Uh -huh. Yeah, yep. you've seen our videos. We've done um, some videos at Blade Show with yes. them. And we have one or two. We have the McBee Spider Co. We have Co. three. We have the McBee Spider Co., uh -huh. which is officially a Spider Co. Yeah. And then we have... A Tracker Jacker. Tracker two Jacker. Two Customs and a Dixon. Dixon. Uh -huh. Yeah, so three knives total then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we never have had one of these Mach 2s. Right, I've handled a bunch of them, but I've never got one. So. And it's your size knife. Yeah. Yeah, so we really need to own that. Because I need more knives. Um, the guy in there, Greg, uh -huh. shout out if you're watching this, Greg, but he might be interested in a couple of these OTFs. Yeah. Brad is the other guy in there that we know. Mm -hmm. He's not interested in that Exo set, and neither is Greg. No. People said that it's... Um, it w they were hot for a while, but none of them are really they're selling not, anymore. They're not selling, apparently. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yep. So we'll probably hold on to that. Ours is, like you say, one of the originals. Yeah, it is. We'll mm -hmm. just hold on to it. Yep. But, um, yeah, what else is in there? There's a Ray Laconico, mm -hmm. one of his production knives. There's there's a couple of Chris Reeves. There's um, 
There's a Riot Jack. The original, original Jack. The original Riot Jack. We uh -huh. have a Jack 2.0 uh -huh. integral. Completely so. different knives, which yeah. is funny that they're the same name. Yeah, they are considered the Jack, but uh, different, really different. Uh -huh. If you look at them next to each other, there's no relation. Uh, okay, the integral. Uh, they're related, maybe, possibly by blood a few generations. Okay, that's what we'll say. <laughs> we'll probably show them on camera if we get them, but uh -huh. that's pretty much it. We're going to go back inside and talk about doing an actual trade now. So, uh -huh. all right, good stuff. Back out to the car. Yes. Frankie, it's been about, what, three hours? It's been a little while, yeah. We've been in there for a while. It was fun, though. Mm -hmm. We kind of got to work a table. We got to work a table. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of ours bought a collection of knives. Yeah. And the only thing, they didn't have boxes. No, so we got to go through and name and price them. They it were was all, fun. yeah, they were all organized in Blade HQ bags which mm -hmm. was nice yeah but no boxes so we just went through and helped them price them yeah um it was a fun game to know how many models we knew yeah we knew probably 90 percent of the models mm -hmm. and then there was just some that you know like what the heck is this but no idea yeah yep. if we could have filmed in there we would have yeah it would have been fun to film yeah that. it really would have if we've shown it already i don't know the bench made readout readout I readout I had out. to, I had to buy it. I <laughs> you had to bonded buy it. with him. Yeah, it's, and you have to nice. prove that you can open it. And left-handed. Well, there's no way I could open it left-handed. Okay, well, thank you for giving me some credit there. Here, let's. Should I try? Go ahead. I'm gonna have to whack it. Just yeah, whack. You got it mostly. See, it's 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 getting worked in now. There, I got mm -hmm. it. Okay. I had to get the readout. Yep. And uh, 162, I think, is what that was. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Show them what you got. It was in that collection. Part of that that big collection buy? Yeah. Yes. I think people will be okay that I bought it. So I need to find out more information about it. No box, um, no bag, no nothing about it. But um, a guy was teaching us about it a little bit more. We had one of the the show visitors come by while we were mm -hmm. looking at these and he knew all about the Chris Reeve knives. We know, you know, a little bit. Yeah. He knew quite a bit and was just helping us out with there. Um, he bought a Sabenza 25. He bought the bigger version of this. The large of this. Yep. And you ended up getting that. Mm -hmm. And I guess that this blade shape is a little bit more rare. The Warncliffe? Yeah. yeah. Insigno? Insignio? Insignio? In Singo. In Singo. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just nice. thought I should get it. I, I liked it for some... Yeah. I like him. Okay. That'll that'll only be our second Chris Reed. Right, yeah. Okay. That we own, which is crazy, I know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Part of that collection... Check it out, guys. Have we done a video on this knife? We probably have. I think we have. Oops. There. I'll get myself... That's the 850. Uh -huh. It's a big knife. Zero tolerance 850 with the little um, revolvers for thumb studs, the revolver. Yeah, I've, I think we have done a video on it because yeah, that it has like the the spacer, the barrel spacer. The barrel spacer, actually, which is like kind of the barrel. barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's blue carbon fiber. And uh, the Sinkovich sound, because this is the Sinkovich Rexford design. Yeah. And it just has that awesome thwacky sound. It's got a nice thwack to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh -huh. Had to get it. No yeah. box. Oh, well. Well, you know what's cool about the no box idea? Hmm. Is that it makes it so we have to just, like, use these knives. Like, just use them. They're already used, so we're not afraid to use them. Yeah. It makes it a little bit easier to Sometimes use. Frankie just... Uh, looks at the knives and she's like, ooh, ah, and then just, no, don't carry you it. You do it too. Don't carry it. You do it too. There you go. Okay, so we did end up trading. Now the, we're now we're into the boxes. The actual boxes. So I did get this McNeese. Yeah, I think we talked about it already in the intro part of the video. The Mach 2. And you know what? I think the reason why I really like this is that I have gotten kind of addicted to the bronze titanium and then like stone wash finish i love that color you like combo. this combo i yeah. really do yeah, yeah it's great and then it has the the textured like pebbly look to it i like it a lot yeah so. speaking of sound that's got good acoustics on it as it well does. it does it really does yeah it has a nice feel to it 
see our videos. We've done um, we've done a little bit with them at some of the blade shows over the years, but mm -hmm. yeah, McNeese. Good stuff. This is the this is kind of your perfect size knife right I, now. I I really like that size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, what else did we get? I like how we just like went this, in not knowing much, but not knowing much. This was a deal sweetener. <laughs> <laughs> this was okay. That's that's the price. Throw uh -huh. in throw in this uh, artisan. And he's like, okay. It's that's a really thin carry knife. It is thin. It's the front flipper, but it's thumb stud. Mm -hmm. Thumb stud for right hand, anyway. Eighteen forty nine. Is the model? No, it's got a name. Eighteen forty nine P. But this has got that RPM nine steel. Oh, it does. Do. Nice. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. But that was That's nice. Like I say, that was it was not supposed to be part of the deal, but it ended up being a. Yeah. I think because we worked the table, so we were able to get a little extra. Since we were behind the scenes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, I sold the other one of these. You helped sell it. You helped sell it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, not a box, but the official pouch. Mm -hmm. Monterey Bay. This is... A Ray Laconico design. A Ray Laconico knife. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name offhand. No, we'll need to look it up. But we've we've looked at these at Ray Laconico's table. Yeah. Well, and if you just feel it, it's a Ray Laconico design. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, these production knives made by Riot. I believe I'm so. Yeah. Almost positive. It yeah. feels like it. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Very smooth knife. Uh -huh. Frankie, normally, well, okay. What? That's lengthwise. That's a little longer. That's something I would carry. That's something I would pocket. Not what she said. I would, uh, what, pocket? No. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I know. Longer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. You're going for the bigger these days. I'm going for the smaller. This is something between. Uh -huh. I think either one of us would carry this knife. Yeah. So smooth. And yeah, we've both been Ray Laconico fans now for years. He's a good guy. Um, no box, but I'm okay with it. It comes with a bag. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Sometimes what else you get? just get what you get at the um, <laughs> at the knife shows. At the shows in yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one did come with a box. You ended up getting this Riot Jack. We have the Jack 2.0. Mm -hmm. We got that three years ago at Blade Show. Yeah. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. This is a brass. This is an integral. Okay. This is a chunk of a knife. With brass onlay scales. Yeah. Look at that thing. It's huge. Can you lift it? Can you get it closer to the camera? Uh, well, if I do, you gotta it wield that fit. thing. You gotta wield that. It looks thing. like I'm poking you in the eye. Kind of does. Pokey, yeah. pokey. But yeah, look at that thing. And so, it's really nice. Look at the. Is it damascus steel on the pivot collar? It looks like it. Yeah. And this one came with extras, so Can't it actually it. came with different screws so you can swap out the blue screws for just silver oh yeah and I actually like the blue accent what we have going on here now yeah um, to clean up it's brand new but it's been carried a little bit it's got a little bit of wear a little bit of weathered look to it mm -hmm. we're gonna use some of that brass polish yeah and see if we can get it back to new but so smooth kind of had to get it because we already have the jack 2.0 and this is the you gotta keep the jacks together jacket yep i don't know why i said that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway there it is yep that's, that's what we got that's what we ended up getting it was a pretty good uh not bad pretty good haul for I'm, us i like mine a lot i like mine a lot i like mine a lot <sighs> i just embarrass myself There. You happy? <laughs> mm -hmm. You happy? I am happy. Okay. I think I got a good deal. I got these two. I'm really liking the Benchmade though too. Yeah. We got Read a variety out. pack of stuff. There. It needs a break in. <laughs> we are a knife channel, believe it or not. No way, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. We'll call it good. Good times from the actual gun and knife show. Yeah, it let was us fun know, to go here. Let us know in comments what shows you have out there yeah. that you have fun at. Uh, there's nothing 
you can't beat the actual table experience. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you buy these online and you, you watch all the videos and stuff and that's fun, but actually going to the tables and talking to the people and wheeling yeah. and dealing sometimes, it's, it's good it's time. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun, yeah, it really is. Yeah. All right, yep. I think that's everything. Thumbs up if you made it this far. Mm -hmm. And I think that's good. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.